Welcome back to another day. Actually, quite a glorious day. It's cold, cold windy, sunny. but sunny. They said we were gonna have rain all week, but it's not actually been too bad, has it, Boo? Went the odd little bit. Got my little boo boo with me. I've just gone to Splash Water World. Always with you. <laughs> to see if they managed to find Lee's rings, but they're not open yet. I thought they opened at night, but they don't open at 10. There's a massive queue. Right the way down to the splash pad. So today we're going for part two down at the Skegness seafront in the arcades and stuff. Like I'll play a little bit of bingo. Lee's gonna play bingo. Uh, and they'll just go off in the arcades when I give them some money. But I'm not sure what Beth, Sienna and Spencer are up to. I've told them where we're going, but I'm not sure if they're gonna meet us or not. I don't think they very much liked it very much down there yesterday. Um, but the arcades on Butlins are one, expensive, two, crammed. crammed, three, they don't really pay out, and four, they're a con. So that's Butlins arcades for you. So we're going to go down to Skegness where you get more for your money. So we will catch up with you in a little while. So we're just driving out of Butlins now. Look at the state of their roads. Absolutely terrible. That's a good bit. Yeah, that's a good bit. You wait till we get up the top. I don't know if you can see very well because of the sun. They're terrible, aren't they? Oh, gold. When you get up the top end here, it's even worse, isn't it? Yeah. It's like drive, it's not avoid the potholes, it's drive on what's road, left of the road, isn't it? Yeah. And when you used to turn around and say, is your car roadworthy? It's like, yeah, no, it's the case of it. It's the road car worthy. <laughs> yeah, the road's not worthy for the car. But these are the fairground apartments. These look quite nice, actually, don't they? Yeah. Are they fairground, actually? I'm not sure. It might not be. <laughs> they've been, they've been, may have been upgraded. I'm not sure. Oh no, these are the fairground apartments, the blue ones here. Right, here, ready to go. Ready, guys? Oh, God. It is just literally terrible. size of that pothole there so yeah as I was saying these ones over here these are all the fairground apartments this is where Beth Spencer and Sienna are staying they've got a wicked deal on it apparently but there's loads of parking it's actually not that busy but the roads are just terrible on site aren't they potholes galore there's probably more potholes than there is road isn't there <laughs> so this is a self drive drive uh self drive through is that what they call it yeah and that's where you check in oh, over there and we had to come through the north drive check-in so because we're like right down the other end of the site you got the fun fair Uh, what are they, the waltzers? Yeah, the waltz. they're not on the track. Oh, they're not on the track. No, okay, you've got paratroopers or whatever they are called. Um, Dodgems, chairplanes. Go-karts over the back. Go-karts are 
Oh, you have to pay for the wow. go-karts. Uh, there's nothing on that one oh, either. That one's not being done, so they're taking them apart for... Uh, a little train. So there's not really a lot, and there's a, a super lot, swing yeah. that over there. Not really a lot on, is there? And then there's the main sort of like main gate or whatever. So there's hardly anything at the fun fair. Like um, half the rides are like taken apart and not working. Not because they're broke, it's just that it's I think that, like I think coming just, to end of season. Yeah, so I think it's end of season, so they're literally them, just so. ma maintaining them and like, cleaning them up and making sure they're all working fine. Um, but, lick of paint. About, that's about the time I did that in their apartments, isn't it? What? Lick of paint. No, the fair gets more painted. Yeah, the fair than gets more painted than, than the rest of the attractions. It's, it's crazy, the state of some of these apartments. And I mean, I'm not joking, they are literally like, the the wood is actually physically breaking away, isn't it? Yeah, it's so bad. What we'll probably do later, we'll probably get the wheelchairs and we'll go around and we'll show you some of the, um, some of the, the state of some of the buildings. It, it's pretty dire, isn't it? The amount of money but Butlins rakes in and it's just, it's really bad. Seven and four, seventy-four. White six and one sixty-one. Blue four and two forty-two. Red by the sea number three. Yellow both the threes thirty-three. Blue five and seven fifty-seven. Yellow two and three twenty-three. Red number seven. Blue five and two fifty-two. Blue four and six forty-six. Red legs 11, yellow 3 and 4, 34, yellow 2 and 8, 28, white 7 and 2, 72, blue 6, 0, oh, blind 60, blue 5 and 3, 53, red doctor's orders, red 9, red 1 and 8, 18, yellow 3 and 2, 32, Blue four and seven forty seven. Yellow two and five twenty five. Blue both the fours forty four. White both the seven seventy seven. Blue four and eight forty eight. Two winners. Play seventy two gold card. Play forty four middle card. Play seventy two one win. Play forty four gets off the win. Line up this time. So we've done our time in the arcades, playing bingo. Um, gets a bit boring after a while. Don't really win, but we've got a couple of bits. We'll show you later. But um, we're just walking into town with Sienna because we spent some best gone to one of the arcades, and Sienna needs to get us in because her phone contract ended. And Sienna no longer lives with me, so she has to pay for her own stuff. Um, so we're going to go and see if we can get like a cheap pay, like pay as you go sim until December. And then I think Beth's going to get her a contract because she's not old enough to get a contract on her own yet. But she's going to town. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. Back to our heads or back to Butlins, I'm not sure. <laughs> Dangerous road this is. Oh look, it's in the night guard. It's a backup packer. Huh? Yeah, I know. Oh. So we've got a subway. A subway. I've actually got more. More in this town than we have where we live. They've got peacocks. It is cold, isn't it? I just changed for the cold. We've got pigeons. <laughs>
over there you got the works, a JD, um, got like a slushy stand. I'm gonna cross over. Oh dear. They are really nice. Kenzie got these ones. White chocolate and raspberry. White chocolate and raspberry. But milk chocolate, all they do in Nutella. So we're going to eat these and then we're going to head back to Butlins and then the kids are going to go swimming. Okay, so after a long hunt for Lee's ring, um, I'm not happy because I was told by the lifeguard that it had been found and it was her and her friend that found it. So she went up to the office because that's where she thought it was and apparently it's gone over to lost property and so she gave me guest services number i run guest services and they said yes there's two rings on the list go to the main gate that's where they'll be i said okay fine that's you know i'll do that i'll go to the main gate you know so i was in the wheelchair went over to the main gate started raining i was freezing and i mean it's freezing cold here and went to the main gate spoke to everyone yeah we're just Back clear as a bell you cannot get away from that and i just said to them basically that you know, I don't know what's going on. So I spoke to Main Gate. They said they haven't got it. He phoned security office. He phoned off a few other people. They haven't got it. And I said, he's saying there's no t no rings on the, the lost property list. But I've been told by guest services there is. So I've run guest services back and I've explained the situation. And they, they've said that, you know, they spoke to Splash Waterworld. And I was told it was a miscommunication that this lifeguard shouldn't have said that they was found when they wasn't. So we don't actually know what's happened. So we're going through photos, old photos and videos at the moment. And we've got loads and loads of videos and photos of Lee wearing the actual um, ring on the necklace and of the ring that he lost. I might have described the silver ring wrong. But like I said, that one, they're both important to him because I bought him the silver one. And the gold one, like I said, belonged to someone really special. But it's it looks like it's transpiring that it's been stolen by someone um someone's got sticky fingers so i don't know what to do now but we're determined to get to the bottom of it because we was told because the woman the lifeguard that told me she found it she actually described the ring to me and said like what size finger it would fit so that had me hopeful but i really don't know what to do now so we'll keep you updated whether we do find it or not but it's not looking likely look it's looking like one of the lifeguards have, someone's got sticky fingers yeah looking one, like one of the it. lifeguards i've got sticky fingers or something or i don't know who someone at a splash water world and didn't even make it over to lost property went on the list but didn't make it over because he said um all the lost property from splash water well goes in a white big white envelope and he said they've had no white envelope. He went right back to the 1st of October. So I really don't know what to do now. I've just got to wait for a call back. But I'm not happy. Um, we'll go home tomorrow. And I'm not, I don't want to leave until Willie's got the, to the bottom of it. So we we'll wait for the kids to come up from swimming. And then we've got to sort some dinner out. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. A bit crazy. But... I'll keep you all updated and whether we find the ring or not. I really hope we do.